everything sports related. Breaking news, fantasy advice, score updates, weekly thoughts, and more. This is the Sports Juice Network. What's going on, Sports Shoes Network? It's your boy back with another episode. I'm trying to put the content out for you guys. I got a new video and it's been requested. It's been talked about and everyone wanted to know what's going on with this organization. All right. But before we hop into that, you already know what it is. It's the Sports Shoes <laughs> Network. Remind me to never do that again. But this is the Sports Juice Network where we sit, we talk about sports, we drink on some juice, and we have a good time. Now, for today's juice, um, I really wouldn't call it a juice, but I got the focus. Got the focus. There you go. Propel Gatorade uh, Kiwi Strawberry. So we're going to get into the Kiwi Strawberry. Got the pack right here. We're going to open it up. But today, Hold on, you know you gotta take a sip of the water before you do it. Today in particular, we are talking about the Los Angeles Lakers. <coughs> Alright, we good. We are talking about the Los Angeles Lakers and Mr. Magic Johnson. nice and made water brought to you by you the people all right we're talking about loss we're talking about the magic johnson we're talking about magic johnson and los angeles lakers and before we do hop into this video i gotta say something okay listen y'all see the progress you see that right there you know how long it took me to get this your boy is trying to grow a beard i'm gonna be honest with you i'm trying to grow a beard i'm oiling it i'm brushing i'm i'm listen i'm trying to i'm trying to grow a beard so we're just gonna <laughs> that's progress progress all right anyway let's get into this thing man Magic Johnson, former point guard for the Los Angeles Lakers, spent his entire 13 year career with the Los Angeles Lakers, okay? He probably was the tallest point guard at that time to have played the game at 6'9", 235 pounds. That is a big boy, right? Okay? Right now, he's currently 59 years old. I did not take a sip of the juice. Not bad, I like it. He is currently 59 years old. Okay, and he uh, set it down. Um, he was currently the uh, basketball pres or president of basketball operations for the Los Angeles Lakers. So pretty much, he ran day to day, um, signing players, extending contracts, hiring and firing coaches. So we thought, and he handled all that that good stuff, drafting players and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, Thirteen year Hall of Famer. Okay, uh, five time NBA champion with the Los Angeles Lakers, just like Kobe Bryant. Okay. Lakers got a lot of championships to think about it. They're like the Patriots of the NBA world. All right. Magic Johnson, Jeannie Buss, and Palinka. Or Palanka. Palinka. I think that's how he says his name. It's one wet man. It's one wet. So let's just get on it from Magic's side. Magic resigned from his position. Okay. He resigned from President of Basketball Operations for many reasons. He said, one, it's not fun anymore. He said he wasn't having fun anymore. He wasn't allowed to tweet. He wasn't allowed to congratulate players for different things like Dwayne Wade. He really wanted to talk to him and say, hey man, you put in all this time and effort and all this work. Congratulations on retiring. He couldn't do none of that because he was president of basketball operations. He couldn't have any contact outside of that, okay? He also said that it limited him in his businesses, okay? Magic owns a lot of businesses that we probably do not know about. He said he wasn't able to get to those businesses and be there on site, on location and do what he pretty much needs to do to continue making that money okay now let's get into it Palinka okay Palinka is the general manager for the Los Angeles Lakers Palinka and Magic did not have a good relationship so says okay 
reports have said actually i won't even say reports magic himself have said that palinka was going behind his back and telling all the staff that he doesn't think magic is a 100 uh, percent into it he's not fully invested in the los angeles lakers because he's too busy worrying about his outside businesses i mean but listen if you're a multi-millionaire and you got businesses on the side as well as a job you're going to maintain those businesses. i don't care who you are because you want to keep making that that's money okay so i don't really see an issue with that i feel like as if if he's if he's making the right calls and he's, I mean, he bought LeBron James to the Los Angeles. I mean, come on. You don't get no better than that. Okay. I mean, granted, I'm pretty sure LeBron wanted to come here anyway, but he bought him there. He signed him. He also drafted a lot of players like Kuzma. He drafted Lonzo Ball. He got rid of D'Angelo Russell, who is now shining with Brooklyn, which is pretty nice. I don't hate him, but boy, it's pretty good. Okay. Um, yeah. So, Palinka was going behind his back and pretty much trying to divide the office. He was trying to divide everyone who was there. He was also trying to get in Genie's ears like, hey, you need to fire Magic. He got to go. I think he was doing all this because he wanted Magic's position, okay? Magic is making a lot of money. You're a general manager. You're under of basketball operations, okay? So Magic was over him. I think Palinka wanted to be over Magic because that's just how things work and that's just how business-minded people are, okay? I'm going to stop saying okay, I promise. All right, okay? <clears throat> Magic pulled a fast one on the Los Angeles Lakers and I say that because he pretty much resigned from his position before a game okay he called an immediate press conference he didn't let the owner know at all he didn't let Jenny Buss know anything and Jenny Buss is the daughter who actually owns the Los Angeles Lakers or she's the majority owner of the Los Angeles Lakers he didn't call her and say hey I'm sorry I know I consider you as a sister but I'm not doing this no he pretty much said hey everyone come here I am officially resigning as president of basketball operations for the Los Angeles Lakers and um whatever you do from this old point and he had this little funny that's it became a meme or actually a gif gif whatever you want to call it where he's sitting there and he's like <laughs> he's like i'm not gonna be there <laughs> I am the one, the way your son don't need <laughs> he was pretty much laughing in their face pretty much saying i don't care what y'all do next year but i'm not gonna be here i'm gonna be on a yacht somewhere okay so that's where the whole issue comes to play. Genie and Magic has a really good relationship. They're like brother and sister. He knew her when he was playing for the dad. He knew her back in his college days. So he was—he pretty much, they considered each other brother and sister. He pretty much told her, or she pretty much went on Twitter and said, you know what? We thank Magic for the time he's put in. We love him. We would never say anything bad about him, blah, blah, blah. But on the inside, she was a little butthurt. I mean, who wouldn't be butthurt? As hard as it is in this organization for females to succeed in the sports in industry, I think she was a little, just a little peed off. I mean, who wouldn't be, right? Um, Mr. Big Baller. Mr. Big Baller, or actually probably no longer Big Baller with the scandal they had going on with the $1.5 million gone. But Mr. Big Baller, Mr. Never Lost. never lost he went on espn a couple months back when the trade rumors was going around on if lonzo was ball was going to get traded to which team to nuance pelicans and all that stuff and he pretty much said and i said this in one of my other videos okay and he said listen magic ain't nothing and he ain't mean it with no disrespect but he said magic ain't nothing to the lakers right now he's just the face and pretty much by saying he's just the face it's just he's the one who goes out and says what they want him to say Okay, he has no control over that team. He he can't do anything. He's not allowed to make decisions. He's just a face. Um, LeVar predicted it. And as much as people hate LeVar Ball, LeVar Ball has predicted a lot of things that was going to happen. Now, I don't know if he just got these inside sources because his son was on the team, but apparently he must read people, okay? Because when um, Magic went on to Stephen A's show with ESPN and with Max Kellerman, he said, 
I had no control. I thought I had control, but I didn't. Because he said, in reality, I really wanted to fire Luke Walton. He was out of there. I love Luke. He's a good coach, but he got to go. He got to go, okay? The, the Lakers suck. Which is kind of odd to say about the Lakers, because ever since I've known the Lakers and grew up on the Lakers, Lakers was winning championships back then. Kobe was born. Okay. <clears throat> so let's, let's see what we doing, what we doing, what we doing, what we doing. What we doing. All right, let's go ahead and sum this up. Okay, let's sum it up. Magic was president, president of basketball operations for at least two years, okay? He wasn't happy with his job, like most people are. He wasn't happy with his job. He loves to tweet. He loves to go congratulate players. He loves talking to players. He loves making brand deals and opening up new businesses. In the role he was in, he was not allowed to do that. So in reality, he said, you know what? People keep going behind my back. This team is not getting any better. I don't want to take the blame for this. I'm going to resign and they can do whatever they want to do. Okay. And pretty much said, listen, I'm out of here. I'm sorry that it had to end this way, but I can't stay here no more. I'm not happy. I'm going to go chill in the Bahamas somewhere and you guys do what you want to do. Now, the also big issue with the Los Angeles Lakers is the owner deal. They don't have a clear owner. I know people want to say, oh, Jeannie owns the team, Jeannie. Jeannie has two brothers. Yeah, Jeannie has two brothers who are supposed to be part owner. And from what I hear, they have no say so in anything right now. So I'm not sure if it's like a big family dispute um, of what they're going to do. It's kind of like with the Lake Tom Benson, rest in peace, the, the New Orleans Saints and New Orleans Pelicans owner. Um, it was so bad with him. His grandkids took him to court to sue him. So... I wouldn't be surprised if the brothers and the sisters end up fighting over who's going to get majority control of that team. But right now, from what I understand, Jeannie owns it and she's supposed to be running everything. Now, does Jeannie know what she's doing? Probably, probably not. I'm not going to doubt her abilities. I'm not going to do anything. She was able to get magic in there. She was able to sign LeBron James. I'm not going to doubt her on anything she's doing. All I'm saying is when stuff hit the fan, it's going to come down to that the, the Lakers are damaged. And by damaged, they need to fix the front office before they can even fix the team. Because in reality, the team is not bad at all. I mean, you got the young talent there. You got LeBron James. You're probably just missing one piece. One piece only. Okay, once you get that one piece, he's got, LeBron can elevate people. So he'll take them up to new heights. Okay, so... Um, With all that being said, that's just a little sum up on the information. Now, reports are still coming out. Magic is still going on talk shows right now. So I guess as more as this unfold, I'll make another video explaining more detailed stuff. But all I can tell you right now is involving three people, Jeannie, Magic, and Palinka. Palinka is the general manager, Jeannie is the owner, and Magic was the president of basketball operations. The Lakers need to figure it out if they want to become America's basketball team again because the Warriors is on the tear. I don't know if you saw the last couple of games, but Steph Curry has been putting the team on his back like I said he was going to do in the first place. So, with that being said, this has been another episode of the Sports Shoots Network where we sit. We try to sum up and talk about sports. We have a good time while doing it. We sit in the truck. Normally not our natural or normal environment or setup or system that we got going, but it's okay. I'll be back to that soon. But in the meantime... Go ahead and like your boy on the Facebook. Follow your boy on the Instagram and the Twitter. He's cur I'm currently putting out updates right now for you guys to let you know what's going on. I've been following the Warriors series very closely because I am a big Steph Curry fan. Now, sad that Steph had to go out the way he did, but he did, and Steph has reigned over top. Now, with that being said, I will catch you guys next episode. Thank you for tuning in.